Pete Cosby and the Angel Encourager. Knowing everybody's doing well. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, I'm Pete Cosboon on, if you go to Facebook.com, The Angel Encourager. Hello, everybody. Today I was going to talk about Archangel Uriel. He's also known as the Cardinal Angel of the Northern Corner and the Elemental Angel of Earth. How's everybody doing tonight? So glad you joined me, Pete Cosboon, The Angel Encourager. You can find me at Facebook.com, The Angel Encourager. And I'm saying, hey, how are you doing tonight? So good to see you. So I've been uh, kind of trying to find out how people more connect with me. I've been looking at uh, different questions. How are you doing, Some More Love? So good. Are you doing better tonight, Some More Love? I know you were having some, some issues the other night, so I'm hoping you're feeling better. Oh, thank you so much for joining me. So would y'all tell me, is it more interesting to you when I put down the title of an actual archangel or if I actually go to it from some type of an issue or, or looking at joy? Can you, I would love to, oh, good. I would love to know what more resonates with you, what, what you like to more tune into, because I want to try to get in with my audience and see uh, what it is that you're more interested in doing. Hey, Wendy, how you doing tonight? So anyway, if both. Okay. All right. Good. Because <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoy doing both as well. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to see what resonates with y'all and how we want to really go. Uh, the angel dream. Okay, good. I'm glad. Oh, cool. I, excellent. Excellent. So, you know, it's, it's really interesting with the new marketing, you know, how people are telling you to go to clients, clients pain points. And that really doesn't resonate with me too much. I rather would talk about, you know, the, the energies of the different archangels and, and what they're really here for to help you want to learn. Okay. Interesting. So, you know, in the Bible it talks about the, the sending out the angels to the North, South, East, and the West. Well, uh, great. Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, so Archangel Uriel is the Archangel is the Cardinal angel of the North. Um, that basically just means that's the, kind of the quadrant of the section he takes care of. Hey, baby Benita. And he's also the elemental angel of earth, which means he, he's sort of, he's, he's with the, he's with the brother energy of, um, he's the brother energy of Archangel Ariel. So those together, you know, take care of the earth. Uriel is more, uh, with the energies of the earth, like with the, uh, flowing of water, uh, thunder, lightning, you know, the movement of the earth, uh, the different, you know, the like, lava flows and that type of thing. He also deals with, you know, the actual, you know, the gravity of earth. If you think about those different energies and that's why he's able to uh, really help us. Hi, how are you doing Amaris? It's so good to see you, darling. That's why he can really help us to kind of like regulate and take care of our own energy. And if we're feeling kind of low on energy, he can help us as well, you know, to kind of boost our energy. So I'm asking him right now, cause it's been a long day for Pete today, <laughs> but I had to talk to y'all before I left. Um, he's also sort of known as the business archangel because he can help us to actually find um, you sick need energy. We're going to send you some energy tonight, darling. We absolutely are. Let's let's. So yeah, ask Archangel Uriel for energy because he also helps us with courage and stamina and endurance. Uh, and how do you, how do I know this stuff? Uh, well, basically, I ask. You know, basically, I study and I and I talk to the angels and I ask them for their input. And so that's you know, that's basically it. It's just about about seeking and, and finding this information. Uh, that's really what it's about. Well, thank you, uh, OG Miracle Whip, for joining us. So neat. <laughs> so he also helps us with our with our mindset. That's why he's known as the uh, business archangel because he can help us to find uh, opportunities in. Uh, I, I I attempt to. I'm supposed to. Sometimes I do during the morning. You can catch me in the morning. I'll do what I call a joy jam, which is basically putting you into joy. Because I always tell my my clients is I want you to step into joy take inspired action and walk in faith. And so my clients are always asking me, well, how do you step into joy? Uh, how did you know who to ask? Uh, you just ask. I mean, you just know, you, you can feel the energies when higher energies come to you. You can just kind of tell which one it's, it's something I, you know, it's hard to really explain unless you've actually um, experienced it, I guess I'd say, you know, <laughs> um, you know, it's kind of like talking a, a different language, I guess you would say, or something like that. But it's basically about just stepping in the joy and believing and asking and just knowing when it comes to you. I mean, I, I, I don't know how else I can really explain it other than that. So unless you've really experienced it. Uh, yes, I am actually. Uh, I'm in Huntsville right now. That's where my office is. Um, I actually live out in the county, but right now I'm actually at my office in Huntsville. Uh, I thought I would just do a short little scope and uh, kind of connect with y'all people and, and just kind of, you know, talk to you about some different things. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about Archangel Uriel. He's uh, the Archangel that helps us with energy. Um, he's Archangel that helps us to find new ways of thinking. That's why he's kind of thought of as the business Archangel, because he can help us to find those opportunities in challenges. And he's the Cardinal Angel of the Northern Corner, and he's the Elemental Angel of Earth. Uh, what county? Because I live in Coleman. Uh, well, I live in, uh, I live actually in Madison County. So how did you get into this? Did someone teach you? Uh, it's really an interesting story. I'm glad you kind of asked me. So, hey, Andra, how you doing, my darling? I'm hoping you're feeling better. Um, so last year, uh, I was in a group and I met a lady that was an angel intuitive medium. And I just asked her, I said, I would love to learn about that, you know. 
And so she started teaching me and then she stopped. Ah, great. Uh, she actually stopped. And if y'all aren't following Andrew Andrew and you need to follow her, that girl is red hot white. She's got she's got biz babes. Y'all are gonna love her. So y'all follow Andre Bolin. She's amazing. So anyway, getting back to my story, uh, she started training me uh, as far as you know, uh, angel intuitive work. And before I knew it, she stopped training me. And she said, I can't train you anymore because you're already doing this. And I was like, what do you mean I'm already doing this? And all of a sudden, clients just started coming to me. And it's just been, last year was my year of faith. And I just did everything I felt intuited to do. I didn't ask if I had the money or if I had the time or if I knew the right people or if I had the resources. I just did it. And it just, it, it opened up an amazing new door. And this year is my year of joy where I just step into joy. How are you doing tonight, darling? I step into joy in every moment that, that is, in every moment I step into some form of joy. And it's just been more and more of an amazing year. I mean, it's, uh, I, even during my birthday it was so evident to me because I think a couple of years ago, I got maybe like three people that said happy birthday. This past year it was like 200 people. You know what I mean? It was amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you, my sweetheart. And I got you, boo. I got Miss Andre as my boo. So I do have everything I need. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of do a little short scope on, on Archangel Uriel. I'm getting together an entire program on the different, on the four different archangels that deal with the, you know, the north, south, east, and west. And just, you know, kind of hashing out some of the things I'm learning and, and, and teaching at the same time. And it, it helps me to kind of need to know where it resonates with people. Um, and so I thought I would put out a little bit of a contest to y'all. So what I would love for you to do is I would love for you to go to my Facebook page, facebook.com, The Angel Encourager. I would like for you to type in there uh, on, a, on a comment. You can either, uh, <laughs> cool. I would like for you to private message me or you can leave a post there. And I would like for you to tell me what it is that you need help with in your life. Be as specific as you can so you can private message me if you want to. The first person that does it, I'm going to give you a private reading with one follow-up. So what I'm doing this for is I want to know the different topics. I want to know the different subjects that you're actually dealing with. Uh, the angel, I'm the angel encourager. So E-N-C-O-U-R-A-G-E-R, -E encourager. So yeah, facebook.com, the angel encourager. So what you'll do is you'll go to my Facebook page, facebook.com, the angel encourager. And private message me if you want to right there. I would use these, these are angels to be religious. I consider them to be spiritual. Now, uh, the angels uh, do uh, appear in every single uh, major religion in the world. And they're in the Bible, I believe, 273 times. So to some, they would be considered religious. To me, I don't consider myself religious. I consider myself spiritual. Um, because I think that um, organized religion has really, uh, in a lot of ways, not all, and I'm certainly not, batting all of them. I think that a lot of organized religion, oh, thank you, Andra, uh, has really split off the personal spiritual connection that people have, you know, with all that is with God, Buddha, Allah, Muhammad, Jesus, however, um, you know, however you think of your spiritual connection. I'm, I'm, you know, uh, I'm multi-denominational. It doesn't, doesn't matter. As long as you, as long as you're connecting with light and love, then I'm fine. So yeah, go to facebook.com, the angel encourager, message me and tell me in, in specifics, what it is, you know, you don't have to get too specific, but you can just say like relationships or money, and you can be as specific as you want to. Uh, what, what, what kind of, you know, things that you're dealing with that you would like help from, you know, the divine with. And so the first person that messages me, I will give them a free uh, card reading with, a, with one follow-up. <laughs> yes, connect with light and love. And that what that's going to do for me uh, is going to uh, let me see, you know, what it is that you're dealing with, what it is that you want answers on, what that is that I can connect with. Because you know, all, when I'm when I'm doing these periscopes, you know, I, I'm just I'm just kind of going by, you know, my past clients and what they've dealt with, you know. But this is about oh, thank you, my darling. Well, it's really it's really helping me too to know what it is of value that I can give to the world because I know and, and Andres told me, you know. <laughs> Uh, card reading like tarot it's well i use uh angel cards i actually have a new deck of cards i've been using um <laughs> money <laughs> okay <laughs> Alrighty, excellent yeah and that's usually um it's usually either money or relationships or you know health it's those are the those are the three big ones but i'd like to know kind of specifics if i can you know because my my um the way i approach the angels is very much i call it angels on the streets and what i mean by that is is you know ha calling forth angelic energy in um in, in every moment of life you know not just like leaving them leaving it at the at the meditation room or at the church door but to actually take them out take the divine out into real life and use it in your everyday world you know because a lot of people you know after sunday 
uh, tell the page, join his group. Oh, you're so sweet. You know, and I would love for you to sign up for my free newsletter there at The Angel Encourager on Facebook.com, Facebook.com, The Angel Encourager. would love for you to sign up for my newsletter there. I also have a couple of really cool programs. I've got a new uh, webinar series called um, Create Your Personal Paradise. Uh, I've gone through five of the seven. The sixth one, which is going to be a week from Thursday, is on relationships and great sex, which I'm really kind of scared of. I really am totally freaked out about, but for some reason the angels really want me to talk about that, so I'm really... It's going to take a little bit. <laughs> and I've got another really cool program called Boost Your Brilliance. And what it's about is, you know, so many times, because I tell clients, you know, I want you to step into joy, take inspired action, and walk in faith. And, you know, a lot of my clients come to me like, well, how do I step into joy? You know, they want to know. And so that's what Boost Your Brilliance is all about. It's about daily sh you, me showing you. Um, oh, thank you, sweetheart. You're so sweet. It's about me showing you every day how. I uh, know I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Honor's going to make me turn red again. Honor's already done that once to me on this right here, talking to me about this stuff. Because oh, she knows how embarrassed I get. You can see I'm already turning red. Do I, no, I don't do Akashic Records. I don't really, but I do I do know some amazing guys that do. Uh, um, uh, Andy Grant is a, a good friend of mine that does Akashic Records. And I've had mine read before, and they are absolutely... It's absolutely amazing. You know what I mean? It really is. And what they keep telling me is that um, sort of about sacred sex, I believe. Well, yeah, I mean, sex is a sacred energy. You know what I mean? That's really you know, what it's about. You know, how, how, do we, how do the angels look at sex? Uh, what are those? Akashic records? Is that what you're asking about? Akashic records, from what I understand, are the, the records of, of your, you know, uh, I, I'm not going to explain it the best, the best after Andrew Pete. Oh, my gosh, we probably should do that, Andra. But yeah, if you go to, I'll tell you what, if you go to NavitasCoach.com, that's N-A-V-I-T-A-S Coach.com, that's Andy Grant's uh, website. If you go there and check it out, he's going to, you know, I'm not an expert at it. All I know is it's just amazing. It's supposed to be a permanent record of your, of where you are and what's coming to you uh, when you go to trade. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be so fun. Andre, I'd love to do a blab with you sometime as well. So does anybody have any questions or comments or anything that I can help with or, you know, anything we can kind of get into? Um, I'll probably stay in here for another 20 minutes. I do need to get to bed kind of early because I've got my trainer in the morning. Uh, your soul's journey. Is that the... Uh, oh, good. So we have an Akashic reader in here. She can probably tell us or they can probably tell us what that's all about, your soul's journey. Because like I say, I'm not the expert in Akashic records, so I don't know that I can really answer that question, you know, to the, to the fullness that it can. Um, yeah, so does anybody need some, like some energy tonight? Does anybody want some Archangel Uriel coming into their life, giving them some energy? Or a lot of times what happens, especially with spiritual people, is we have a lot of energy. We don't know how to really channel it. Um, that's why a lot of times you'll find that um, people that are very spiritual but they don't really use their gift, they'll find that they either have gained a lot of weight so that they can handle that energy, uh, get some things done, or they'll find that, um, and I'll talk to that one in case if you're sure, or they'll find that they'll be very thin but they have joint problems because they just don't know how to effectively channel that energy through you because know, we are energy beings, but if we don't know really how to work that energy, um, then it can really kind of jink us up a little bit. So uh, I do, I do, I need that angelic energy. All right, we'll call some forth. But wandering cases with really time of getting some more things done. And so I'll, I'll tell you about a little method that I do, and I did this actually today. It was amazing. I do what's called a mind dump. You know, because we're we're taught that this right here, uh, we're taught that this right here is a, uh, a storage facility, but it's not. This is a receiving and a processing facility. So what you want to do first is you want to just like write down everything it is that you think you need to do. Write down the whole list, whether it's wash the dog or, you know, call this client or whatever it is, you know, or create this program. You, you write down whatever it is. Then you write, then you come down and you do a get to do list, and you write down a column of me and a column of the universe. In the me column, you write down everything that you know you can do. In the universe column, you write down everything else, and then you just start calling it forth. You start calling it forth, and you start believing that the universe is going to somehow take care of this for you. It's either going to give you the inspiration of how to deal with it, it's going to make it not a matter anymore, or it's going to take care of it for you. So a lot of times when we feel overwhelmed, we feel like we have too much to do, we're never going to be given more than we can handle. You know, So if, if we ever feel like we're overwhelmed, it's simply because we're trying to take too much on ourselves. We think that it, it's up to our you know, pushing effort. It's up to our, you know, our you know, contriving. And, and it's, it's really a, a life should be a flow. Life should be about ease and peace and joy. And that's the way it's meant to be. So if you feel like you have too much to do, that's an excellent 
technique because you can do the, the just once you get down on paper you can kind of see the things that will correlate with each other uh been gaining you've been gaining weight and that that can very much happen wendy when you're uh, gratitude and intention absolutely my darling yeah but it, you can you can start you know putting on extra weight when you start taking on extra energy if you don't really know how to how to really flow it or use it or anything like that so yeah so if we could use some does anybody does everybody want to get a little bit of extra energy tonight <clears throat> book of enoch here uriel uriel was in the book of enoch he absolutely was uh-huh he absolutely was. That's right. So yeah, there's a there's a testament right there that he was in the Bible. I love that. <laughs> Alrighty. So everybody would like a little bit. Of, so what we'll do is we'll if you if you want it, we'll just create what I call an intention circle. It's kind of like a prayer circle, where we just kind of like get together. If you'll hold hands with me, spiritually speaking, of course, we're gonna ask Archangel Uriel to come forth and give us the energy that we need to do the tasks that we need, and to also be able to step into joy to have the to be able to have the relaxation and the peace and the joy and the tranquility and the stamina that we need in our lives to bring forth what it is that we wish. And it is so. <laughs> and it is done. All right. So now we've asked. Now the time, the time is for you to call forth. You know, because you only, you only ask from the waiter one time. If it's a good restaurant, you only order one time. And then you call forth what it is you want. If you keep asking after you've already called for, after you've already asked once, then you're really coming from a space of lack that you believe that, you know, it's not going to come to you. So then you want us to start, and that's true, holds God's light, yes. So you want to start, uh, hey, Stephanie, how are you doing tonight? So you really want to start calling forth what it is that you want in your life after you've asked. Then that's, that's you know, your space to be in because you are a caller forth of all that is, you know. Uh, we're told that the word of God was a called forth everything, the universe and this. Uh, hey, De Stephanie, how you doing, sweet? Uh, he called forth everything, the universe, the planets, the sun, the moon, and we're told in Psalms that we're God. So we, we actually, absolutely, with the power of our words, we call forth. So uh, start listening to the powers of, of your words. Uh, start listening to what's coming out of your mouth and see if that's matching what you want to live. You know, because your words are a direct reflection of your of your thoughts, of your expectations, of your belief systems. And so, you know, so many times you can retrain your brain by actually changing the words that come out of your mouth. Uh, so that start thinking about it that way. It's almost kind of like when you're when you're in a kind of a, a fear state. If you want to put your body into a relaxation state, you can start actually just mimicking somebody that's relaxed in your breath. You can start breathing slow and deep. And what that does is it changes your brain waves because your brain waves, your brain starts noticing that you're breathing as though you're relaxed. So your brain will actually change the brain waves to match your breathing, and then you're then you're you know then you're in peace. You're in you're in that relaxation state because there's a reason why joy and and peace and happiness feel so good and why you have so much energy. And that's because that's your natural state of being. Have you ever noticed when you're fear fearful or anxious or worried or in doubt that you're always tired? It's because it takes a lot of energy to be fearful, anxious, worried, or in doubt. You know, because you're, because what are you doing when you're in fear? You're always thinking about why you're fearful. I mean, you keep, it goes like a little, you know what I'm talking about, the little hamster wheel. It keeps going over and over. Uh, Uriel is the archangel. Uh, he's the archangel that is the cardinal angel of the northern corner and the elemental angel of earth. He's the archangel that deals, helps us with uh, energy. Usually known as the business archangel. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, we're all on this path together, babies. Um, so, yeah, uh, uh, what was I getting back to? You know, me, I'm a shiny squirrel person, so I can get off subject really, really quick if somebody asks me a question, because I love to answer the questions. So anybody, uh, how do we know about it? How do we know about it? Uh, well, you know, it's just I personally connect with the archangels. Uh, you know, the angels are in the Bible 273 times or in every major uh, religious uh, belief that there is in the world. Um, it's however you connect. You know, I mean, it's however if you connect with Jesus or Buddha, Allah, Muhammad, the angels, the universe, the divine spirit, you know, however you define it. For me, it's with the archangels. Uh, that's just how I happen to know it. And how do I know it? I speak to them. They, they you know, they let me know things. Um, so he's actually in the book of Enoch. So anyway... Um, I won't get into a big, you know, that's, you know, it's whatever, but, you know, sometimes the angels are, are mentioned, but they're not mentioned by name, so in, in different, different texts they are, so we don't want to get into too much of that. <laughs> we don't want to get into that, too many of those different discussions, if you don't mind. So anyway, um, yeah, so it, it's a feeling energy, that's right, that's true. The archangels always, and any energy that's, that's worth, worth having comes in light and love and embraces us in that love. Um, so yeah, any other questions or comments? I don't want to stay in here too much longer because like I say, I'm supposed to meet my, my gym instructor at 5 o'clock in the morning. It's a little bit early. If you have time to do a reading, I would so appreciate it. Okay. Uh, so wondering, Casey, what would be a subject or a topic? I can't do too many tonight. Maybe I'll do two or three. Um, what would be your subject or your topic for you tonight, wondering, Casey? Oh, 
<laughs> like it's situated. <laughs> but since you asked so sweetly, I'd be I'd be more than happy. Oh, thank you so much, my darling. Travel. Cool. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Oh, you're so sweet, Wendy. <laughs> peaceful. I love that. And that's usually what my clients tell me is that I, I just make them feel very calm and peaceful because it makes you feel good, right? <laughs> so about travel. Right, let's see what we get here. For wandering Casey with travel. Hmm, okay. So the first card for you is the Courage card. That is uh, from Archangel Ariel. She's also the Archangel of uh, Abundance. So it's really about um, do I do I kind of get from you that you have sort of like a, a worry about some form of travel? Is it are you? Um, I'm not sure if it's if it's a worry about actually leaving. Uh, things undone or if it's an, if it's a worry about the actual travel itself I'm almost seeing like a plane and like you might be I mean, you might be a little bit hesitant about a certain type of mode of transportation I'm not really sure what it is but it's, it's about really a point of courage for you to begin with there's something about and, and it's also I'm getting something about you being afraid things are gonna get left undone if you take the time to travel like you're you're needed where you are hey coach how you doing uh, the second card for you is the Moon Cycles card. So this is really talking about sort of the ebb and the flow of life because um, I get from you that you wish you could travel a lot more and I'm getting, uh, it's about it's about knowing that there's an ebb and a flow to life and knowing that you know the ocean really doesn't ever lose any water. Hey coach, how you doing sweetie? And if, it, if the wave's not coming into you, it just means that the energy is building up for you for the next wave. So how that really deals with you is travel is just to know that that's going to be a cyclical thing for you that there is, are going to be times that you're going to be able to travel and not to really judge those times when you're not able to travel just know that that means that the perfect time for you to travel is not coming up. I'll hugs back to you too sweetheart. The next card, now don't look at this card, this means something different to me, the, 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 uh, the Indigo and Crystal Children's card. So what this means to me is that you really should uh, approach life with sort of that um, that new eye of a child, you know how the children, you know, they find things so fascinating—a four-leaf clover or the clouds in the sky—and how we kind of seem to forget that as we get, you know, as we get older in our, in, in you know, along our life cycle. It's really about starting to approach life again from that childlike wonder, and how they're really showing me that um, you know, there's smaller travels that you can take that you can really start enjoying, and as you start enjoying those smaller travels and being grateful and appreciative of those, that they're will be greater travels for you to take. And if you really don't appreciate the small trips, you're not going to appreciate the big trips either. So it's really about you getting back into that childlike wonder, if that makes sense to you. And the last card is the, the gentleness card. So I'm getting for you, is it possible that there's somebody uh, that you want to travel with or somebody uh, somebody that um, that you, know, you either want to travel or somebody that will be affected with it? It's a little bit, you know, I would use the word jinked out. I know people don't, don't know what I mean by that, but they're just kind of like, you know, frazzled about it a little bit. And it's about you just being kind of gentle to that person and to yourself in this process. It's almost like you're trying to talk somebody into going or, or talking somebody into helping you by maybe maybe they need to help you at the home or whatever or take care of something in business while you go. Um, so it's about you just being in that gentleness. But I do see, I do see some coming for you, uh, but it's about you really kind of enjoying the short trips so that you can enjoy the longer trips. Does that make sense for you, Wondering Casey? Did that help you any? Thank you, darling, for inviting inviting the followers. That's so sweet of you. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad, okay? <laughs> I think as you approach it with that gentleness, you know, and, and for yourself and for and for your girlfriend that uh, I think you're going to find. Uh, it's gonna just And just start enjoying those smaller trips as well. Uh, Lynn, you sure can. Would you give me a subject or topic? Oh, Coach, you're so sweet. You watch this later, just to reflect. Okay. Are oh, you from Decatur? Cool. <laughs> Your gift. Oh, okay. Interesting. I've never had that in a reading. So, okay. Uh, just. Well, I'm trying to remember his, his name. Okay, so the gift. Or your gift, rather. Let's see what 
you get. All this. Uh, well, now to me, I don't really call myself a psychic because I don't really read the future. I believe that the future is predicated on where we are right now, but that can always be changed. Every now is, is different. So I, I see, you know, um, I see a lot of advancement for the human race to be for for all. You're so sweet. I mean, that's what I really see. I see, you know, I don't really see a lot of dark things really happening to the world. I see just a lot of advancement. What I see really happening for the world uh, as a whole is that um, there, we're going to have a whole new paradigm of how we uh, of how we think of ourselves and who we are. I mean, like the way we work and the way we eat and and what money is and all those kind of things. I, I think that there's going to be just a greater and greater amount of uh, ease and abundance for people, but I think it's going to kind of stress them out a little bit. Um, oh, that's so sweet. Um, so I think it's about, you know, I think it's going to be a, a space where it's really going to be kind of like throw a lot of people off because we're not going to be, no, we're not going to know who we are in that new space. So some people, it, it sounds really great, but some people are going to be really stressed about it at the same time. So that's, for a whole, that's what I see. I see your being, oh. Okay, cool. I would love that. And you can, if anybody ever wants to uh, message me on Facebook.com, The Angel Encourager, and ask me any questions, I always get back to everybody. Love speaking to people. To me, it's about just giving out value and love to people. And I just know, you know, however the universe brings it back to me, it's going to, um, than most would say. Well, that's, you know, that's what I get. I get just a very positive, you know, and, and, I mean, because honestly, if you go back to any major newspaper and look at the headlines, you're going to see something bad on every single one, and yet we're, we're all still alive. You know, we're, we're getting more and more abundant every single day. I mean, you know, to, I mean, think about the kings and queens of 200 years ago and how we live today, and where like the poorest of us have cell phones. I mean, so the kings and queens of 200 years ago would, would think that you know would be just amazed at how we live. We live better than they do. I mean, do you know why they wore furs all the time? They wore furs so the lice and the fleas would jump off of them. That's, you know, so I mean, just start thinking about, okay, we've made this much advancement and we're just advancing more and more and more. There is negative news. I mean, like they say, if it bleeds, it leads. I mean, you know, so <laughs> anyway, so this was about your gift. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Can't pick up the cards. <laughs> All right. The first one is the clairvoyance card. And this is so much about you just kind of getting in tune in your mind, body, and spirit system, starting to realize the loving signs that are coming to you from the universe. You know, when you hear when you hear loving thoughts come in your mind that can still be calling you forth, but they're coming in love, knowing that's from the universe. When you feel things that feel like they're judging you, that's really from ego. So if it's if it's from judgment, it's from ego. If it's calling you forth or it feels loving, then that's you know that's really your um, that's really signs that are coming from the divine. And I always say, you know, the, the divine only works in joy. So when you step into joy, that's when you start getting the, the inspirations. You know, when you're in fear, anxiety, worry, doubt, you feel lonely. You know, you feel it's because you're cut off. You're basically cut off. You could be in a room full of, uh, oh, absolutely. You could be in a room full of people and feel lonely if you're in fear. You know, but you could be completely alone in a room and feel like you're just surrounded, you know what I mean, by, by other people. So, by, surrounded by, you know, love. So that's, you know, that's about stepping in the joy and start listening to those signs for you. So the second card for you is the Remember Who You Are card. So this is really about you standing in your power, about you standing in the space of who you are and that you are able to call forth anything you want and that you are a powerful being. You know, you, you every every moment in life is lived through you. So it's about you realizing that that it's all about your viewpoint. It's all about what you call forth. It's all about you know, how you look at life. You know what I mean? So that's the second card for you. The third card for you is the creative writing card. So this is so much about you um, getting out there and expressing yourself. Now this sometimes is with writing. Sometimes it's with you know, any way that you can really express yourself, I really kind of open up to that. A lot of times it really is with writing. So I see you uh, with your gift definitely um, doing some type of a teaching or a writing or a journaling or something like that. And that's really where it just kind of starts, you know, about you learning and you teaching as you go along. Uh, the second, the last card for you is the Relationship Harmony card. So I very much get for you that this is something... Um, do you perhaps deal with couples or do you, do you have to perhaps deal with families or is that something you feel really intuitive to work with as far as like um, maybe family systems or, or couple systems or something like that and that's something that you can really speak to and write with. I see you as a very much uh, person that um, 
works with you know uh, uh, energies of, of of relationships and that type of thing. Does that make sense to you? Is that is that resonating with you at all? If you'll let me know. And I forgot the I forgot the dear lady's name. Yes, it came from a broken family. Okay, so I can so much see how you can use that, you know, because that's the same for me, and I, that's why I think I love helping people. Um, and I, I just see that for you that that could be a great possibility of how you can really do it and that you're going to be able to have sort of that intuitive knowledge or that knowing when things really are not as they seem to be, if that makes sense to you. Sometimes things look so perfect on the surface, but when you really, you know, when you, you if somebody in tune like you can really tell when something really isn't, um, that's true. And I always tell people, you know, you, all, you can only experience great joy if you've experienced great despair. So if you have experienced great despair, that's something to be thankful for, because that really opens up your vessel to where you can accept great joy. Uh, how do we recognize these uh, messages? Well, <laughs> um, you just you just ask and you're just open to them. You know, messages come in all kinds of different ways. Um, sometimes I know things. Sometimes I see repeated numbers. Sometimes I see flashes of light. It's just you know, I don't ever judge how it comes to me. I just know, and, and sometimes you just know. Uh, for me also, it's about um, knowing your mind, body, spirit system. I know that if I get a pain right here in my forehead, it means that, that my ego is challenged. If I get kind of a pain in my stomach, it means that, uh, that my that spirit's like, mm. and if I get shivers on my shoulders, that means that mm, we're on point. Now, that's for my body system. That's not for everybody. So you have to learn what it is for you. Sometimes Some people, spirit gives them like a little quickening in their stomach or you know, a little tickle in the back of their neck. So it's just, it's just depending on how you're built, how your system works. Um, now, there was one, one other person that asked for a reading. This would have to be the last one if that person would come forth. Uh, she, I think she listed what it was she wanted, but I wasn't able to read it because I was uh, in, working with the, uh, the other one because I'm definitely... What would happen to know what chest pressure is? Usually, chest pressure is a transition soul coming forward. Um, I used to think it was archangels, and then I worked with a medium, and um, it's, yes, feathers also, yeah. So usually pressure on the chest, and you, and, and you really want to kind of speak to them, because I know when it first started happening for me, they would press really, really hard. They don't really realize how hard they're pushing. So you can, you can tell them, you know, if you don't want them to press so hard, and you can kind of, you know, ask who it is. I have a lot of blocks that have been coming up. I was wondering what I could do to remove them. Okay, so blocks... Uh, as far as energy blocks, uh, and I think you were the, the one, my darling, that was that was asking. So, so energy blocks. And number one, it's about about getting into the uh, parasympathetic system. You know, there's a sympathetic and the parasympathetic system. The sympathetic is the fight or flight. The parasympathetic is when you're very relaxed and you're calm and you have that flow. You know, I mean, you have that flow. You, you, you're getting inspiration uh, from from all that is, and you're and you're getting like the feelings in your body that are letting you know. So that's the first thing about you really getting in tune with your mind, body, spirit system, having that universal flow, having your body system tell you what's right or what's wrong. You know, and your body, body is absolutely, your body is an amazing monitor of whether or not you're on track with what you desire or what you don't desire. So blocks usually always come from a sense of, well, they always come from a sense of fear, usually from a sense of, of judgment or low self-worth for yourself. Uh, that's absolutely true. Louise Hay is amazing. So, you know, for that, it's, it's usually, uh, it, can come, it can come in so many different ways. It can come because perhaps you uh, aren't supposed to be more successful than your tribe, and your tribe can be your mom or your dad or your older sibling. Um, it can be just from a sense of low self-worth. Uh, perhaps you think you've done something wrong in the past and you're feeling guilty about it, you know, and you're translating that into the future. Or perhaps uh, somebody that you knew that you really cared about had a really rough time and you're you're worried about the future. So the blocks you know come and can come from a number of different places, but they all come from a sense of fear. They all come from actually from a sense of keeping you safe and protected. So really, you know, those blocks are it's about not judging them for holding you back, but to realize that those blocks really are a sense of love. But if they feel bad to you, that means you're ready to let go of them, and they're ready to get let go of them. So you can start speaking to those blocks. You can say, "What are you teaching me? Why are you here with me now?" And I'm ready to release you. And then you can just kind of start knowing this. I still feel I've been confused to myself. Oh, perfect. Well, you know, there's a reason we're all coming together into this room. You know, we all, <laughs> you know, have this, you know, we, and, and bliss, believe me, as I'm teaching things, I'm listening. Because usually, you know, <laughs> there's usually a, a couple kernels. <laughs> well, oh, cool. I love that. You know, and I, 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 I 
am supposed to be doing a blab every day. I usually do one in the morning called Joy Jam. So if you ever catch me, I'll be dancing in the car, stepping y'all into joy. Honestly, if y'all have any questions for me, you can go to facebook.com, The Angel Encourager. You can message me there. I get back to everybody. You can also go to the Angel Encourager at gmail.com. You can contact me that way. I would love for you to sign up for my free newsletter. Uh, it goes out every Sunday. Uh, I'd love for you to take a look at some of my different programs, see if they resonate with you. If they do, great. If they don't, you know, that's cool. Um, I had asked at the top of the hour when I first came in, I would love for uh, everybody to message me, private message me on Facebook.com, The Angel Encourager, with what is the number one issue that you really need help with right now. The first person that does that, I'm going to give them a free private reading and also with, with one in a follow-up. And But I, what I'm really trying to find out is I'm trying to find out what is it that you really want to change in your life? Because for me, the divine is really not worth anything if we can't use them in our everyday life and move forward. Because that's, you know, I mean, why would you have the divine and leave them at the meditation room or at the church door? That just makes no sense to me. So to me, it's about taking the divine out into the real world. I say angels on the streets. So that's what I want to know. I want to know the real life issues that you're facing. Uh, you can go to facebook.com, the angel encourager, and tell me what it is that, what it is that you're facing that you really want help with from the divine. Uh, the first person that does that, I will give a private reading uh, with one follow-up, a private uh, angel card reading. And uh, yeah, and that just kind of gives me an idea of what I can teach on, what I can help with. So even if you don't get the private reading, uh, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much, Wandering Casey. That's, that means so much to me. It really, it really does. And you just, uh, I'm so glad to call you friend too, my friend. I love that. And, and message me. Tell me how you're doing, my friend. And, I'm, and I invite everybody to, please. Message me at facebook.com, The Angel Encourager. Tell me how you're doing. Like, tell me if you have any questions. You know, I would love to just you know, help any, everybody the way that I can because it's, to me it's about sending out value and love. And I know that you know, the universe sends me back value and love in exchange. So that's what it's all about, my friends. We're all in this together. We're all on the journey. Let's be joyous. So what I want you to do is I, number one, want you to, I want you to focus on what it is that you want. And, and when, I, when I say that, I don't want you to think about the modalities. Like, you know, I have to do this. Uh, it's the angel encourager, darling. Uh, thank you. So the first one is about you really figuring out, what, and when I say what you want to focus on, what gives you excitement? Ah, oh, you're so sweet. And it's not about, you know, okay, I need this job so that I can get this, so then I can, you know, have whatever. I can be free or whatever it is. It's about if it's freedom that gives you excitement or if it's about, you know, supporting your family that gets you excited. Whatever it is that it gives you that point of excitement, that's what I want you to focus on. Then I want you to step into joy. I want you to take inspired action and I want you to walk in faith and I want you to watch your world change and I want to, you to watch people around you change as you do it. It's amazing. So what I want you to know is I want you to know how much I, Diggity Dog, love every single one of you, no lie, and how much love comes through me to you from the angels right now. You are so surrounded by love and support and energy right now you just can't even imagine I feel like the wealthiest luckiest man in the entire world because I get to express it to you so know that love all of you and I'm gonna say love peace release <laughs>